Hey, what do you think of this shirt? I like it. It's super soft. What's it made of? It says 50% cotton and 50% polyester. Have you ever thought about where cotton and polyester come from? Whoa, where do you come from? Cotton comes from the cotton plant and polyester comes from the polyester tree. I've never heard of a polyester tree. Is that a real thing? Um, no. Well, if polyester doesn't grow on a tree, where does it come from? Great question. Polyester is what we call a synthetic material. Synthetic materials are made by combining different molecules together through chemical reactions. We make polyester by reacting together an acid with an alcohol. The reaction forms a polymer, or a large molecule made up of many smaller molecules bonded together, kind of like a beaded necklace that's made up of individual beads strung together. This new polymer material, polyester, is processed into long fibers that are made into yarn and then woven into fabric. Both the acid and the alcohol that make polyester come from petroleum, nylon, spandex, and acrylic are other synthetic polymer materials made of smaller molecules that also come from petroleum. Wait, did you say these materials are made from petroleum? Like where gasoline comes from? Isn't petroleum a non-renewable natural resource? Why would we need to make clothes from petroleum? Well, synthetic materials like nylon and polyester have some advantages. They're very strong and durable, lightweight, and dry really quickly when they get wet. Polyester and nylon are not only made into clothes, but they're also made into things like rope, plastic bottles, seat belts, fire hoses, and parachutes. The drawback to being strong and durable is that when we're done with them, these materials will take much longer to break down in landfills compared to things like cotton and wool. You make it as robust as you want it, that means it's really hard to recycle. If you have your airplane landing, the first thing to touch the ground is the rubber tire. And you for sure you want that tire to be as strong, as robust as possible. <laughs> so then if you think about the roughness of the road, the friction, the mechanical property, and the impact, everything you name it, is it's a perfect engineering material that allow us to do many things, but in the meantime, you just have to pay a price. Especially right now, oftentimes things are multi-component. So one way of recycling is to bring it back to the monomer form. So you start from chemistry, you can reuse your polymer. And if you, from the get-go, you're building your cell phone, building electronics, already have those things in mind. So by the end of the day, it's like a Lego, right? You put things together in the Lego form to suit your bill, and once it's done, let's recycle the building blocks. So, what do you think? I think I need to pay more attention in chemistry class. <laughs>